Hello again. This time, I'm going to talk about Osu as an aim trainer and whether or not it is a good one. You have definitely seen a lot of videos from people outside of the Osu community playing Osu for a month or so, and I claim that their aim improved drastically. Or you have seen professional FPS players playing Osu to warm up their aim before getting on their main game, most famously, Effect from Overwatch. Or you have seen Ninja from Fortnite mentioning Osu in his book. Slight tangent, but I'd like to point out that it's Osu, not Osu. There's a big difference. I'm also aware that it's officially pronounced Os, but I'm not going to do that. Unlike my last video, the audience of this video may not be all that familiar with what Osu is, so I think I need to explain quickly what Osu is about. Osu is a game where you click circles to the rhythm of the music. Actually, that's not enough. In the game, you choose a song, or a map as we call it, and then you click the notes that appear on the screen, either with your mouse or with your keyboard. And then for those tube things, those are called sliders. You click the note and then you hold down the keyboard or mouse button and follow the slider. And that's pretty much the entire game. Often you may see players using a drawing tablet in order to play, including myself, but the game still plays the same. From these clips of me playing, and also the fact that every Osu top player and their mom is in Yuki aim, you may think that Osu is really good for aim training, since from these clips, there is indeed a lot of aim necessary in order to play the game at a high level. But is it really good for FPS players? Before we continue, some credentials to show that I at least know what I'm talking about. I'm rank 100 at the time of writing, worldwide in Osu, peaking at rank 50 and peaking at rank 30 on the Fotec slash Sparky leaderboards in Kovacs. So, the big question, is Osu a good aim trainer? The answer is both yes and no, but mostly no. If you have very little experience using a mouse, such as coming from a console to a PC, Osu would definitely help you getting used to your mouse as Osu is very intensive for your aim hand. The intense gameplay will also help you find the grip, claw, palm or fingertip that you're comfortable using. Both of these can help you get used to aiming in FPS games. And as for warm up, there is a point to be made with Osu. Since Osu, again, is very mechanically intensive, it is indeed a good way to get your arms and wrists ready for the actual game that you're going to play. This feel is shared by Andre, a friend of mine who happens to be one of the best mouse players in Osu and is also an avid quick player. But both of us also agree that this would be less important if you play on higher sensitivities, like 35cm per 360 or higher since that there is less physical movement. What's more is that this whole thing is questionable since you can do similar things in other FPS games, such as getting on aimbots in Counter-Strike or playing a few rounds of quick play in Overwatch, also isn't providing something that other games really can't do. But, if you have some experience in FPS games, Osu does not help much with improving, if at all. Here's why. Number 1. Osu is a 2D game. FPS games aren't 2D. This is probably the most well-known argument against Osu's effectiveness as an aim trainer. And for good reason. In Osu, you're moving your mouse in a 2D space, and in actual shooters, you're aiming in a 3-dimensional space. The aim you gain from Osu does not translate well to FPS games just because of this difference in dimension. The 2D space just lacks the perspective and camera movement that 3D spaces have. Parts of the audience, who are perhaps more knowledgeable, may know about the FPS mode in MacOSU, interestingly spelled with an uppercase O, an alternative client to Osu available on Steam. It imposes the 2D map in Osu to a 3D environment, and in turn solving the problems of perspective and camera movement. This means that Megosu is good for aim training, right? While it is an improvement compared to standard Osu, no, there are more reasons why Osu itself is not effective for aim training, which leads me to the second point. 2. Not all types of aim is developed with Osu. There's more to aim than just moving your mouse around as fast as possible. There are sub-skills within aiming that Osu and make Osu fails to develop, namely tracking and movement. No tracking in Osu, but what about sliders and streams? You need to track them, don't you? Yes, but not quite. First of all, sliders in Osu have a lot of leeway when it comes to hitting them. The hit area is actually really big compared to regular nodes. 
This means that you can hit the sliders without focusing that much on the movement. Sometimes you don't even have to move at all. This can lead to bad habits as you aren't consistently focusing on how smooth and precise your tracking is. Unlike what you can see with the Colfax footage, I have to focus how smooth and accurate my aim is instead of pure speed. Not only that, the slider ball, what we call the part you track in the slider, moves at a consistent rate, meaning that it does not change in velocity, which isn't a realistic representation of how players move in FPS games. But wait, there's even more. When playing against real players, they move unpredictably, or at least changing directions very frequently say, ADing in Diabolical or Fatteran. Osu does not help you with those kinds of movements, since that one, sliders are rarely shaped in a way that requires you to consistently change directions with your mouse, and two, you can see the entire path that the slider is going to take. You know how the slider ball will move, which again, which is not realistic when compared to actual player movements in FPS games. As for movement, you don't just stand still in a spot and just aim with your mouse. Well, maybe in Counter-Strike sometimes, but even then, Osu is still not good. Even with Counter-Strike as an example, a very common way to aim is to strafe, stop, shoot, and repeat. But in Osu, you don't get to coordinate your aim hand to your movement hand like that. Of course, this problem intensifies if your main game is much faster paced like Overwatch or Diabolical. A very good comparison would be getting on Colfax and only playing Tower Frenzy 30 seconds for an hour. Sure, some parts of your aim will improve, and it looks really impressive, but it doesn't mean you'll become a beast at aiming. It only means you'll get good at Town Frenzy, or in this case, Osu. 3. Osu does not help much with reaction times. You may say, what do you mean? The circles in Osu appear super fast. Yes, it does look really fast, but it's predictable. The nodes appear on the same position every time you play a map meaning that you can simply just memorize some of the locations of the nodes. Personally, despite what it looks like, I don't memorize the exact locations of everything, but playing the map more than once does help me get familiar with the map, which greatly improves my performance on the particular map. As I've said, you can tell the path that the slider ball moves within the slider, and as for circles, it is indeed a bit less predictable, but it's not impossible. Say you are playing a map, and you see many triangles during the first chorus. Chances are, the next time the chorus comes up, you will see triangles again. And very often, this is the case. It is hard to explain this to new players, but after a certain amount of time within the game, you will have an intuition with the positions of the notes, even if it's just your first time playing the map. This is why in aim trainers, there are randomized spawns to prevent memorization or prediction which is, when you think about it, translates far better into real FPS games, since in FPS games, the enemy does not peak from the same position at the exact same time. So, in conclusion, can also help with FPS aim? If you are a brand new PC gamer, yes. If you have even just a little bit of PC gaming experience, absolutely not. You are much better off playing an aim trainer, or just playing the FPS game that you main, or, most effectively, both since that there are things that aim trainers just can't help you with, namely map understanding, game sense, and experience playing against actual players. With all that being said though, Osu is a fantastic game that is undoubtedly addicting, and as someone who started playing Osu because I thought it would make me better at CS, and then ended up dropping CS for Osu entirely, I would definitely recommend the game to you. The thing to take away here is that you should not get into the game with the goal being improvements in FPS games, and instead just playing Osu for Osu. Alright, so that was my first video. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I really wanted to make a video talking about Osu and its relationship to FPS games since I have a good amount of experience in both. So leave any comments that you may have in the comment section and like and subscribe.